We finally know the truth about Yuji. The translation wars are over for now, but spoilers for JJK257. First of all, shout out to our hero and savior Lightning who provided some context on what Sukuna is actually saying here. And if you don't know like what I'm talking about, there's been some controversy on the translation of this moment. Check my previous videos. But for those of you that don't know Lightning's uh, history, if you will, they are a godsend for this community. Lightning is actually an official translator for other manga and has officially translated JJK before as well. They translated chapter 236, which was Gojo's 50% discount and Sukuna explaining his Maharaga adaptation, right? So a very important and complicated chapter and Lightning translated it perfectly. So thank God for that. But here, Lightning tells us that in this moment, Sukuna is saying indeed that Yuji was born with one of his fingers sealed inside of him. So Yuji was created partially with one of Sukuna's fingers. Now, for anybody wondering how Yuji being a finger might throw things off, I'm going to explain all of that, but actually nothing is thrown off. It's still exactly the same as we thought, but bear with me here. So before we knew Yuji was a finger, in this scene, we real we figured Sukuna was at 19 fingers, and so then he eats his mummified head to get to full power, right? If Yuji is a finger, you're like, wait, then he's down one, but he's not, because originally we thought that Sukuna ate four fingers here, that Uruume had found him four. But as you can see here, only three are pictured. We just assumed there were four, and there was one off panel that we couldn't see. But now with Yuji being one, it makes way more sense that there's only three. Gege showed us exactly how many there were. So with Yuji's finger, we're still at that 19 plus the head. But you may say, wait, well, Sukuna should only be at 18 because he wouldn't have the finger that was in Yuji. And I disagree. At this point, he would. He would have taken that original finger sealed in Yuji at birth when he transferred from Yuji to Megami. Sukuna... I mean, I'm sure that was just part of the deal or whatever, like part of Kenjaku's plan that once Sukuna did incarnate in Yuji, he would be able to get access to that original finger that was sealed in him. And we know this for sure because Sukuna even tells us as much. In this panel here, he says, don't stress about it. I can easily make up for one finger's worth of power with this, meaning he's at 19. If he was at 18 and didn't have Yuji's finger, he would say, I need to make up for two fingers worth, but he only says one. So the one he's missing is the one that Rika slash Akotsu ate that Gojo presumably hid to protect Yuji. And speaking of this scene, I think we now know exactly what Sukuna meant here when he said, is this meant to be ironic? Because he's literally eating himself, just like he started all of this by eating his twin brother in the womb. I also think this information sheds light on this scene where Yuji gets like a seemingly berserk power buff after Sukuna leaves his body or to the point where Sukuna is like, what's going on? Where did this strength come from? Perhaps when Sukuna took that original finger that was sealed in Yuji out of him when he moved to Megami, it like unlocked Yuji in a way. Maybe somehow having that cursed object sealed in him since birth was holding him back. And now with it gone, he's going crazy. And finally, this revelation also sheds some light on this moment from the first chapter of the manga, where Yuji runs past Megami and he senses the presence of the cursed object. But at this point, Yuji didn't have that original finger that he found anymore. So Megami was probably sensing the one sealed inside of Yuji since birth. So not only was Sukuna created by Kenjaku sleeping with his father, who was the reincarnated twin of Sukuna, but also with Sukuna's finger at the heart of it all. Kenjaku really does do the grossest things. So yeah, man, what a crazy chapter. So many revelations, and I'm finally glad we can put this translation war to rest. I fully trust what Lightning says, but let me know y'all's thoughts in the comments. Do you agree with all of the points I made after the fact that Yuji's finger would now be gone and Sukuna would have taken it when he went to Megami? And, you know, did he get stronger after the finger was gone? Like, let me know your thoughts on all of that, and I'll see you soon.